Do you want to expand your smart TV's app selection beyond what's available in the official store? Installing third-party apps can give you access to more content, streaming services, and features. In this video, I'll show you an easy way to install third-party apps on your Skyworth smart TV. Not all smart TVs support installing third-party apps directly through their built-in streaming system. But don't worry, there's an easy solution. You can use a Google TV Streamer 4K to unlock more app options. I've included a link in the description below if you need one. Now let's go over the steps to get everything set up once you have this device. All right, so grab your remote and then you're gonna take your directional pad and you're gonna go all the way over to the right. If you see it, the top sidebar up here, just go all the way over to where that icon is and it has your profile. And then you're going to want to go down to where it says settings and you're going to click on that. Over here on the left hand side, you'll see where it has all the different settings. You're just going to want to scroll down all the way to where it says system. All right, so on the systems tab here, you're going to click down one more and you're going to go to where it says about. So on this tab right here, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to where it says Android TV OS build and then click on that. If you click on it once, nothing happens, but you're gonna to wanna to click on this thing seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's seven. And then as you could tell when you're clicking on it, it does tell you um, how many more times to click on it to make anything happen. Okay, so what this did is it put us in a developer mode or it says yeah, you are a developer. I'm not quite sure of the technical term there, but now from here, you're going to click on the home button on your remote control. Okay, so from here on the top bar there, you're going to click over to where it says apps. And then you're going to go right here to where it says search for apps. And on search for apps, you're going to type in downloader. All right, so type in downloader just like that, D-O-W-N-L-O-A-D-E-R. Okay, so then it'll come up to this screen here where it does show the downloader app that we are wanting to install. And then you just wanna click on install. And depending on how fast your Wi-Fi connection is, it'll begin to install the app. Mine's pretty fast, so it downloaded pretty quickly. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to open. It'll prompt you to allow or deny the access to photos, media files. You're just going to go ahead and click on allow. Okay, then it'll come to this screen right here where it just it's a quick start guide. You'll click OK on that. Okay, so now before we do anything here, before we enter in any kind of information on the downloads uh, page, we're going to click the home button on your remote control again. So that goes to the home screen. Okay, and then you're going to want to go over to your settings tab again right there at the, where we started down to where it says apps and then click on apps okay so from here you're going to want to scroll down a little bit here and go to where it says security and restrictions and then click on that and then right here unknown sources you'll click on that and then it takes you to this screen here it says in, install unknown apps and you'll see where downloader is now on here so what we'll do is click on it so that it is allowed now. All right, so this is a really important step here. We do wanna make sure that we allow this so that way we can install third-party sources through Downloader. This will give us the ability to do that. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to click on the home button on your remote again. And then you're gonna to wanna to go down to that column that says your apps and go all the way over because we're gonna to wanna to go back to that Downloader app again. And since it was the last app that I downloaded, it's right there at the bottom. Go ahead and click on it there. All right, now over here on the sidebar, we wanna go over to where it says settings. All right, so go down to settings. And then right here, you wanna make sure that that APK auto install, that second option there is check mark. So make sure that that does have a check mark on it, which mine does. And now we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, so when you scroll up here, if you click on browser, you'll see that it says to use the, the built-in browser, you must install or sideload the downloader browser plugin. Um, it does give you the actual address to enter in. So it says enter in browser.aftvnews.com uh, into the URL field. So that's what we're gonna, we have to do in order to move on. So we're gonna go to the home screen and type that in right there in that address bar. Okay, so here in the box, you're gonna to wanna to type it in exactly the way I have it here. It's B-R-O-W-S-E-R dot A-F-T-V 
N-E-W-S.com. Make sure you type in just like this, because if not, you'll run into some type of forbidden error message. But after you get it like this, go ahead and hit the next arrow or go. And you'll see that it'll download the downloader browser plugin. And then on this page here, you'll just click on install. Okay, so now you'll click on done. All right, so it'll come to this screen here. And what happens is there's an APK that's left over. Um, now that we have it installed, we don't need it because we don't want it taking up any more room on our uh, Chromecast. So go ahead and hit delete and confirm it. So now that we have that in there, if you go over to your sidebar and you click over on browser, and once you click on it, you'll see that now we have a functioning browser right here on this page and that we did not have before. Okay, so from here, you're gonna to wanna to go back up to that address bar there and take out that whole address that is already on there, delete that out. And now we're going to type in a brand new uh, URL. And I'll throw it up here on the screen here so that way you can uh, type it in just like I have it here. Okay, so type it in just like this, that HTTP address, just like that, and then hit the next, or the arrow icon. And it'll take it there and it starts to load and right here it is, Aptoid TV. Okay, so from here, you're gonna wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page to that icon right there. It says download Aptoid TV and then just click on it. All right, and so it downloads pretty quickly. And then it asks if you want to install this application and we'll just say install. Okay, so once the app is downloaded here, you don't wanna click on open yet. You're gonna to wanna to click on done. And then you're gonna to wanna to delete that APK again for the same reasons as last time. You don't want to taking up any more room on your Chromecast. So go ahead and delete it. Okay, and then here it just wants a confirmation and we'll just click delete again. Okay, so from here, now we have App Toy TV on our Chromecast. We're gonna click the, the home button on your remote and you're gonna go back to that row right there that has the your apps and click on the see all. And you'll see down here at the very bottom that App Toy TV is now on there. So go ahead and click on it. So that way it opens up your new app and you'll see that it's got the branding there, App Toy TV. And this is the page that it'll come to here where it says new update. Uh, we'll just go ahead and click on OK at the bottom right corner. And then they ask for your permissions to allow or deny uh, Aptoid TV. So we're going to go ahead and click on Allow. Okay, so now that you have Aptoid TV, if you look over, it's got all kinds of different top apps and um, plugins that you don't have on the Google Play Store. Uh, some of them are on the Google Play Store, but there's a slew of new different kinds of apps that you're able to download right here. Uh, it's got like a new arrival section here that keeps you up to date to some of the latest and greatest ones. Here's your streaming apps. You can go down here. It's got some of the games like Marvel Pinball and go down a little bit further. And yeah, there's just all kinds of stuff that here that you can download right from Altoid TV. Okay, so there's all these different types of apps here. So say let's go ahead and, and, and go to this one here. Say we want to download this one. We'll click on it. And it'll give you the option to install it. We'll go ahead and click on install and it'll download the app. And then the app toy TV icon will come up here. You'll click on settings. And if you notice right here, it'll come to this screen that says install unknown apps. And on the app toy TV, you're going to want to flip that switch over so that it way it allows this app to be installed right here through app toy TV. All right. So then you'll hit the back button and then you'll download it and then it wants to confirm this application and then you'll just click on install and then the app is installed and it gives you the option to click open or click done. All right, so once you download any of those apps on the app store there, you'll click on this see all button and if you notice right there it is on the, the latest uh, app that I've downloaded right, right after the app toy TV, you'll see it's right there. So um, you'll just be able to launch it from here instead of actually going through the other app so this is how you can download any of those third-party apps, um, how you can sideload any of these apps on your Chromecast. Um, I know the steps were a little bit different uh, in getting it to install, but um, it's easy to do as long as you just follow along. But hopefully it's helped you out. If it did, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time, and I'd love to have you back in the next one. Take care.